fresh off his victory on the last match that was just seen. It's Uber Chat. <laughs> Hello. Feeling good about what you did to that uh, poor, poor sap? Uh, <laughs> no, I don't feel good about that. I up kind of, if I wasn't getting shield poked by Ness, I was just going to sit behind up B on Lila. Um, it's kind of... Kind of a rough it's thing a to deal with. It's a little bit tougher. I felt like I could have just stuck with Ike because he didn't really respect armor or understand how to grab shield. That and uh, the range. I as felt well, like he could have abused an important an important uh, note that he could have picked up on if he's going to watch these bods is um, try and tomahawk more. He also doesn't really play ultimate, but uh, yeah, good victory. But speaking of victories, maybe we'll see. Uh, Maybe we'll see an upset here to see if uh, Yuni's Game & Watch can take it over the Nisho's Ken. Uh -huh. Game 1 starts and I believe it is PS2. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a classic... Uh, I didn't know he played Game & Watch. Has he he dabbled with him a bit. Starting off right away with the forward airs, trying to catch him in shield. That's very good against Ken, because Ken's going to want to play more of a grounded game. Yeah, oh, um, he pancaked it, ducked the uh, jabs. It's like, for example, uh, <laughs> believe it or not, Little Mac doesn't do all that bad against Shodos. Just uh, because he because has to... Uh, they both have to play their own game plan. Exactly. And it kind of like interlaps. Ooh, and a run-up Shoryu. Kind of comes in and steals that stock. Here's another thing, though. Uh, game Watch, he, uh, he can hit hard and can, like, just do a bunch of, Love like, that. smash attacks as tilts. But uh, he's gonna get blown up if he's in, and Ken's really good at like maximizing oh, wow. damage when he's in, and he's good at like early kills. Like right now, he could just kill with a uh, down tilt Shoryu. Yeah, this is looking really good for Ken or Nash yeah, right for now. Nash. Down tilt Shoryu, there we go. Wow, that kills early on. And watch. Would have killed at like sixty. Also, I feel like uh, I feel like Uni needs to respect like a roll distance more, and uh, try and try and up B and abuse Game and Watch's kill options. I think he needs to just abuse Game and Watch a little more. Yeah. Like half the stuff he could be ducking, but uh, you know. As well, uh, he could throw out I a down smash uh, too. One thing that I find exclusive to Camloops Game and Watch is Ooh, uh, nice crescent uh, kick to uh, forward smash there. One thing I find exclusive to Kamloops Game & Watches is, is uh, for some reason we don't use Nair. Uh, yeah, Nair is so <laughs> good with uh, Game & Watch. Disjointed comboing to a multi-hitting. That, that combos into itself, <laughs> shield pokes. Shield pokes, full shields. Like. Nearly <laughs> safe on shield, you can probably cover with an up Oh, good see. tip against Game & Watches. If you ever see him trying a full hop to hit the last hit of uh, Nair, is you can just parry, parry full hops. <laughs> Or, you know, uh, duck it and then, like, catch it in here. True. All right, just throwing out that chair there. Chair's coming out, yeah. Good DP coming out from the issue. See if he gets a landing catch. Ooh, duck the back air there. Procs to um, input Shoryu, not heavy Shoryu. I think, uh, I actually do think input Shoryu is the way to go because it... Uh, it does more damage. It doesn't, it doesn't send you in free fall as long mm. and at mid percents. So you potentially could get punished by Ki uh, from Game & Watch by true. doing the true Shoryu. Ooh, tried to go for something a little so cool there. Very good... Uh, <gasps> By you, heard the, you heard the you heard the you heard the Shoryu come out, but uh, the bomb interrupted it. I want to see a Shoryu armor through a nine. Oh my that god! Would be an epic finish. It, it's just invincible, so yeah, <laughs> you can just go through it. Ooh, trampled through that uh, chair there. Fun fact: Ooh, wow. they for some reason decided it was a good idea to make the lower half of uh, Cannon Ryu's Tatsu invincible. Yeah. The lower half and the legs are invincible. They couldn't have just given it a trample hitbox or something just to beat out projectiles. No, they just have to make it invincible. Oh, he tried to do the Caragansel. It did work, but it, uh... Not quite. 
Yeah, that is significant. That is a huge, it's a huge buff they received. Uh, you could just see it going through breakfast right there. Yeah. On the ledge. I think that was just the hitbox itself. But if the lower half wasn't invincible, then it would have hit the lower half first. Oh, wow. Bad good. air dodge down and got eaten with a forward smash there. Ooh, and a good anti-air DP. All right. Muni's on his lag. Winner side stock. I like how he's... Uh, Using focus just in dash attack range of game and watch, I find that's a really effective tool. It is a very so effective tool. Use. It's kind of like a little bit of a bait. Yes. And heavy shore you? Not quite, just chucks him. I think um, Ken and Ryu and Terry have some of the best throw animations. I agree. Ooh! <laughs> I was trying to bucket, but I fucked out. Clashes with the. Uh, Clashes with the Hadoken and eats a kill for it actually. So uh, 2 0 for the initial.